So today I'm going to be talking about a platform that I recently came across where you can buy and sell Bitcoin only. And the place is called Bull Bitcoin. If you are looking to buy or sell all coins, then this place is not for you. Just if you look at their name, Bull Bitcoin, the <laughs> they only sell and buy Bitcoin. So just as each platform has their own unique features, Bull Bitcoin is no exception to this. So today I'm going to be looking at what makes them different from all the other platforms that I've used before. So if we scroll down here, the very first thing that makes them different is that they are a non-custodial service. So what does that mean? Well, it means that they do not at any point store your Bitcoin. So essentially you retain full ownership or control of the Bitcoin that you buy. Now, the whole point of this is to promote responsibility of your coins. They just want to make sure that you practice good habits and when it comes to securing your coins. You know, so there's that saying, not your keys and uh, not your keys, not your coins. Now, this is uh, very true of this particular situation. Now, if you've been long enough in the crypto space, uh, you'll know that there have been countless times where exchanges have been hacked or they've lost uh, they've been hacked or you know maybe even exit scammed and as a result a lot of their customers have lost their funds that were left on these exchanges so a, the very most well-known case uh, would probably be Mt. Gox they're the first crypto exchange out there that uh, that got hacked or were customers lost their funds and uh, there was a big one in Canada that got shut down last year or shut down last year and it's called Quadriga CX. So these are just some prime examples of why it's never a good idea to leave your coins with someone else. Now we can see that this is the case when you click here, when you click on buy Bitcoin and over here there's a Bitcoin wallet or Bitcoin address you have to enter before you create an order so the other day or I guess before when I funded my account I tried this out so I bought a little bit of Bitcoin and even before uh, I was able to uh, create that order I had to put the address in first so they make sure that you have a place to send that Bitcoin off to before you even create that order so that's one interesting feature. Now, another interesting feature about the, these guys is that you can spend your Bitcoin with, they've partnered with Bills or it's a company that they own, but more or less you can spend your Bitcoin and there's a, a few different ways. You can pay a bill, right? You can pay someone or you can send that money uh, to yourself. So all you need to do is really just enter the amount that you want to send in terms of Bitcoin or dollar value and just enter the information below here, right? Whichever one, and then you would have to create that order. So once you create that order, it'll bring you to a page where it'll give you a designated Bitcoin address that you have to send that Bitcoin to. So after you've sent the Bitcoin, they will then process that particular order. And then that's it, pretty much. That's, it's really straightforward and simple. So if you don't want to spend your Bitcoin in any of these ways, you can also buy gift cards with your Bitcoin. Now, as you can see here on this page, they have different options on how you can, uh, or where you can get a gift card using your Bitcoin. So example, you can get gift cards from like Amazon or iTunes, Indigo, or even Air Canada. So that's same sort of process. You just click whichever one and you would add the amount in and then just add it to the cart, so on and so forth. Very straightforward. Now, the last interesting feature that uh, of Bull Bitcoin is the recurring buy right here. So the recurring buy is a great feature for those who want to automate your dollar cost averaging. Now, what's interesting is that you can set a custom recurring uh, recurring buy, right, right here. 
So, for example, let's just say you want to buy for every, you know, six hours, right? So here we go, every six hours, right? So you can you can even enter that in, right? So it could be hours or days, and it, it, you know that's so that's totally up to you. Now, what what you need to do is you just uh, set it up and send the money to your account, and it'll buy the Bitcoin for you. And it'll send it off to whichever Bitcoin address that you put in. So for those of you who don't know what dollar cost averaging is, it tells you here, or it tells you what it what what it's all about. So just as it says here, it's a it's an investment strategy where you can consistently buy the same dollar amount of whatever at regular intervals, regardless of the price. All right. So that's what it is now why would you want to do that so you would want to do that for these reasons here there are four reasons that they list out so number one it helps to neutralize price volatility it reduces the stress or reduces stress uh, you can mitigate custody risk and it helps with budgeting and planning Right, so you can read about that here. So if you're someone who is uh, who who just wants to set and forget your purchases, then you know bull Bitcoin might be a great option to look at. Now, if you're interested in signing up with bull Bitcoin, so I'm just going to sign out here for a second. If you're interested in signing up with them, I'll leave a link down below where you can get a ten dollar loyalty credit for you know just just for signing up that you can then later use if you've reached their $15 loyalty uh, credit minimum now in terms of starting it just like takes less than uh, 10 minutes to go from signing up going through their KYC funding the account buying Bitcoin and having it sent off to your wallet right so you just you know create just, uh, enter your email your password your confirm and then uh, again the referral code uh, that will be the link down in the description now it's a very long link so i would probably just use click the link if you're interested in that ten dollar loyalty credit and um and yeah there are many ways that you can fund your account but uh the, probably the most popular option is the e-transfer option all right so anyways uh that's bull bitcoin and uh i hope you found this video informative and if you did please give my video a thumbs up if you found this helpful please leave a comment down below and tell me what you liked if you are interested in receiving notifications of my future videos then hit that subscribe button other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye for now